everyone. Welcome back. We're doing another Coach's Commentary. We're doing the 2022 season for Algoma Wolves football. So uh, let's get into things right away here. And uh, taking a look at the season, really good season, 6-2. and two. Uh, Really good offense, scored 42 points per game. Uh, you know, lots of passing yards, uh, you know, 14 passing touchdowns, uh, tons of rushing yards. Uh, went over 2,000 uh, with that, and uh, 30 rushing touchdowns. So very successful year, offense, defense, uh, did a lot of uh, pretty nice things overall. Uh, taking a look at our first game, uh, playing against NEW and Oneida. <clears throat> and you can see uh, we won pretty handily, 48-12. to Kind of see like by quarter, did some really nice things, uh, you know, six in the first then 18, 8, 16, uh, doing some really good things. Some statistical highlights for you. We got uh, Grant Vandervest, uh, 91 yards, two touchdowns. Caden Varden, 160 yards, two touchdowns. And then Cade Preston, nine total tackles. And you might be thinking, like, oh, that's uh, you know, nine total tackles. That happens uh, you know, pretty often, which is true. However, not for a nose tackle. Our nose tackle and our defense and our 3-1, our base, is you're eating up blocks. Uh, he's not expected to get a whole lot of tackles at all, uh, but with what uh, NEW was doing, is they were pounding the rock, they were going up the middle, and he was able to just you know get rid of that center, get in on the tackle. So really, really awesome job for him. Uh, and if you remember from you know previous um, years, uh, that he. Uh, didn't start playing football until uh, he was an upperclassman, so that was really awesome for him. So going into the game, <clears throat> uh, we only had four seniors uh, the uh, previous season in 2021, uh, and three of them were really, really good. Fourth one, also solid player, uh, but we were really worried about how are we going to uh, replace these three guys. So we had our quarterback, Carter Zimmerman. Of course, he accounted for... Uh, Many, many yards. I think it was 1,700 rush yards uh, just by himself. Um, and, you know, whatever the passing was. But very successful player, great player for us. And then also uh, Noah Lucas, where he was our running back. Uh, and then also middle linebacker, where, again, we only have one linebacker in our defense. And they need to be on point uh, with reading their keys and getting to the ball. The design of the defense, uh, if you remember, is... For our linebacker and for our safeties to get the vast majority of the tackles uh, and he uh, got 100 tackles in that 2021 season so how are we going to replace him and then also uh, carter dashlett we're replacing two uh, a three-year start all three of these guys are three-year starters uh, in one way or another <clears throat> uh, carter really good for us on the d-line uh, and then also on the offensive line as well so how are we going to replace these guys, uh, getting some new guys in there and stuff? So uh, we had a couple of people switching positions. So kind of our quarterback position we were feeling out. Uh, we're uh, first couple of games, we have Caden Varden there. Uh, do we go with uh, Grant uh, as well? So we're kind of uh, playing around with that. And mostly we are a run offense, so it didn't matter a ton uh, in terms of that. But um, again, switching that also on defense. We were uh, shuffling a little bit where uh, what tends to happen is we start out, like for our DBs, when they're younger, if we start a sophomore, junior year, uh, start them at corner on the outside, and then uh, senior year, um, or you know if we need to, move them to safety, because safeties are uh, our best tacklers out of the DBs, and we moved Varden from a, you know, he's a really good corner, Moved him to safety, uh, and uh, he was a fantastic uh, tackler for us and made lots and lots of plays um, for us there. <clears throat> so uh, we also knew we were going to play NEW and Oneida uh, later on in the year, playing them twice, uh, just because we couldn't find uh, non-conference games. So uh, you know, beginning of the year, trying to get our feet under ourselves, going to run some pretty basic things, but also we knew we were going to play them a second time so we're just not going to throw everything out there at them. And uh, again, always that question, you know, we get the tape from the scrimmage. And, you know, 
um, who's going to be able to assert themselves, uh, and we don't always get that answer just from, you know, uh, the scrimmage. So we're always kind of evaluating and seeing uh, the first, like, one or two games especially as to uh, who our starters for the season are going to be. <clears throat> so things to watch. Uh, for Algoma, obviously, Caden Barden, really awesome game on offense and on defense. Caden Preston did a really nice job on uh, defense at nose tackle. He's also a new starter on offense. So we kind of notice with our uh, offensive line is we have some beef this year. Okay, so we're definitely slower out of our stances compared to you know quicker guys, uh, but we can absorb a lot of... Uh, you know, defenders, and uh, when we get some double teams, get some good angles for these guys, we're able to move people really, really well. So, a lot of beef out there. So, of course, as a lineman, I was a bigger lineman myself. I was ready to go, really happy, and if we can get these guys to be aggressive and get after it, uh, I was going to be pumped. So, you can see our offensive line coming together a little bit. And of course, they're going to get better and better as the season goes on. Things to watch for uh, Oneida and NEW. Uh, Jedi Baja Villamila, uh, son of a Packer great. I uh, played fullback and also linebacker, really good player. Uh, and he gave us some problems uh, at the beginning of the game. But then once we kind of figured out, okay, this is what they're doing, then we were able to handle him pretty well. He was really good uh, in this most recent season, 2023. Uh, he was all region, I know for sure. Possibly honorable mention for Allstate. I'd have to double check on that. But really good player. They wanted to get him the ball. Uh, they ran a pretty simple offense where it's a lot of I and then we call it gun twins, but it's a two by one formation. Uh, and they would do a lot of, you know, like out of the eye, just leads, pitches, things like that, and then uh, some play action passes. So it's a good team to start out with where they don't do all these crazy motions and all that other stuff. Uh, so let's uh, get into the game here. So playing at Perry Field, we're getting the ball first. Goes to Caden Varden. And uh, that's Jedi missing that tackle there. But, you know, he's the first guy down there. You can see it's a little bit different than uh, people on the field where he's pretty thick. He's athletic. Uh, wherever they were moving him, uh, pretty much that's like he was going to be going. So he's definitely an attack guy uh, where they're not going to have him like back playing passive. Uh, kind of what we were talking about before the game in our preparations uh, where you can see Grant's speed there. Preparations was just assume he's coming. Hey, he's in that stance. He's ready to go. Uh, if he sees something, he's just going to uh, trigger and boom, he's going to go on. So we're pretty much treating this front as a four-man front even though like technically it's a three. So... Uh, Coach V running a bunch of different formations, kind of seeing how they line up, and then kind of seeing how we can attack. A lot of teams, because of our uh, offense, uh, a lot different from uh, any of the offenses, at least in our area. And, oh, man, Jedi making a great play. But uh, we're kind of always like, all right, how's the team going to attack us? We see three-man fronts, four-man fronts, five-man fronts. Um sometimes six-man fronts in short yarded situations. So we do a lot of training with our offensive linemen about like being able to know our blocking rules uh, and be able to talk things out. But uh, we had to punt on the first time, but the first time we ran trips, they did something really funky and we're gonna exploit that uh, in, the, uh, in the game here. <clears throat> All right, so they're just kind of running up the middle. You got Kate Preston getting a tackle there. Able to shed that block. Again, we got some beef on the D-line too, which is always what I'm uh, pretty pumped about. See this two by one formation. He's sending a blitz. Sending a, a linebacker and corner blitz. And uh, kind of fell for a little move with Varden there but we were able to uh, get the stop. Not that great of a punt. And we're back on offense. And uh, let's see. Yeah, we're, uh, we'll see um, the return to trips in a little bit here. 
Okay, nice pass protection. Kind of an errant throw there, and can't remember if Grant landed on his back or on his head a little bit or what the deal was. All right, so going back to trips, and as you can see, they're leaving the middle of the formation wide open. So it's just, uh, you know, ran a trap uh, to the weak side, so we didn't have to worry about Jedi, uh, and things kind of vacated where uh, the guard pulled from, and uh, Varden took that and took it all the way to the house. So, good start. And we're going to uh, exploit that more as time goes on. You can see Grant at quarterback here. Varden must have been uh, tuckered out from his running around. We got that first score. One of the things that uh, I'll talk about throughout the season, <clears throat> but you're going to see Austin Miller, number 40 there, pretty much our special teams ace, where uh, he started football as an upperclassman too. And uh, uh, we have some, you can see what happens when guys aren't doing their jobs there. Uh, but Austin Miller, uh, really athletic guy, uh, strong, especially for his size. Uh, I think he might have had the largest bench press on the team uh, as a DB, which uh, of course irritates me, you know, with like linemen need to be the strongest and the toughest and the, uh, the everything is maybe not the fastest, but uh. Yeah, Austin Miller, tons of tackles uh, on special teams, and then also uh, he's one of our rotational guys on defense at uh, cornerback. But he's collecting lots and lots of tackles as a special teams guy. Okay, so to the eye. And uh, NEW, they got a little bit of beef as well. I think with their center, number 77, uh... He was a freshman this year and a really good player in the 2023 season. But even from the this first game to when we played them again, uh, 77 really, really improved. And he's a really good player for NEW. And so again, got that second and long. Had uh, Gavin Belowski, sophomore in there. Getting in on the play, Cade getting in on the play. Okay. Uh, they did this, uh, we, or we prepared a lot for this play where it's a, you know, uh, what, six man protection and then a one person route, hoping that your guys are falling asleep, but we were ready for it, of course. Got them to a, you know, fourth and five and a half, fourth and six here. And seeing what they're doing, they got like a sniffer situation. They're trying to do, is it like an option? Is it, uh, you know, that QB, he's not really looking to pitch. He has that ball tucked away the whole time, but we get the stop. Then we're back in business here. So we got Grant a quarterback. We got uh, Isaac Yunk, sophomore. Here we got a trap going on. Jedi knifing through there. We got Barden back in. Kind of changed our pass protection a, a little bit in the future here, where we're kind of doing like a big on big situation. That doesn't always mean the cleanest pocket, especially where uh, kind of have a halfback. If he has like, if he doesn't see any threats, he kind of is just like standing there. So um, we did more of a slide protection. <coughs> Jedi making a crazy play again. Punting away. Grant Vandervast, what a guy helping his uh, helping his opponent up. Okay, so trying to run up the middle. Got him in the backfield. That's uh, Gavin Belowski. Fumbled it. We got the ball back. And uh, hopefully we can go into attack mode here. We got lead pass. Really fake that uh, pretty hard play action, especially in our backfield. 
they covered it pretty well, but I mean, scrambled and got a 10 yard gain. Got a trap coming back the other way. Uh, we got Emily Kirkman blocking the wrong person. Uh, so that's what CA is talking to her about right now, where we're running a trap and she blocked the end. She needs to go downfield for a linebacker. Again, uh, Emily Kirkman uh, threw a pick there. But, uh, yeah, she kind of after the season got a little bit of fanfare where a um, you know, girl playing football got a varsity letter, of course. Came over from uh, volleyball. She's a big monster, which was really sweet to see. Like, in practice, she's, like, pancaking people and stuff. So, like, I'm all jacked. Like, yes! Yeah, she was uh, really awesome. We'll uh, talk about her more in the future as well. But, uh, you know, she had some write-ups about her and the uh, uh, some Door County papers and um, stuff like that playing football as a girl and you know she really didn't you know I mean didn't think it was like super significant uh, just because um, you know she just wanted to be out there and hit people and stuff but uh, yeah it was really awesome seeing her kind of coming from not knowing a whole lot about the game to uh, learning really quickly uh, getting after it uh, being a quality starter, or uh, not starter for us, but a rotational person on offense and on defense. So yeah, she's still in here now, playing at our uh, blocking tight end, which is really just another uh, another lineman out there. Yeah, nice run there by Caden. Uh, he went to uh, UW Oshkosh, and he's... Uh, <coughs> wide receiver I think they had him kind of working in the slot during uh, uh, practice and things like that here we got another trap here in uh, Kate Preston finding somebody to block it's good stuff We're moving the ball but uh, we got a lot of beef out there which I'm jacked about and uh, pretty much all season I was just like Let's just put five linemen out there and, like, let's just get after it. I think we did, like, maybe one time uh, towards the end of the season, but just, like, Coach Vanderbest, we got all these big giant monsters. Like, let's get them out there all at the same time and kill people. They're running our G play here, getting bodies on bodies. Grant's cutting back. I mean, just, like, ridiculous. So, Grant, this is his junior year. His senior year, he's going to be uh, All-State. And he's just making people look ridiculous all the time. Just like he has the uh, quickness, just like an insane acceleration uh, at a burst there. And then top line speed uh, also kind of has just like this. Uh, he has those Vanderbest jeans, just being a, a stud. Hey, but. Really fast, smart football player, making cuts. It's insane. <clears throat> kind of interesting, some of the... Uh, you know, we got try to get a lot of JV players in on special teams so we can get our uh, varsity guys breathers. So it's kind of funny seeing some of our uh, you know now sophomores and juniors and stuff running around out there where they look tiny. <clears throat> All right, so we got our safety inverted there. We can see with uh, Tyler Chalice, number 42. Again, if we get some kind of, you know, like a, a tight end, you know, that's kind of telling us like a run formation since our safeties are tacklers, usually a little bit bigger. We like to have those guys up and then have our corners back off. Our corners, they're just worrying about, uh, they're just worrying about coverage predominantly. <clears throat> yeah, so we got some uh, not-so-great tackling there. Just reaching for guys. 
not getting into them. There we go. Got our young guys doing some good stuff. Heather, uh, have uh, older guys doing some bad stuff, not doing their jobs on the back end, <clears throat> where they're just faking, you know, that dive, and then they're having that um, kind of sort of like a triple option, really. And it's the job of our backside D end. Everything's going away. They're attacking that QB. Ugh. But yeah, they're supposed to attack that QB, get the ball out of his hand, and then everybody else. Uh, getting up there but we got guys not being aggressive they're going down the line instead of at the QB not doing their one eighth can uh, leads to problems yeah we got uh, got NEW marching here again not good tackling got a bunch of guys reaching for people that's what happens when you're uh, tired you know it's the first game Maybe not in game shape. <clears throat> but NEW, uh, always impressed with, you know, they might not have tons of talent, but that coaching staff gets those guys to play hard, like, every single game. Like, they're always jacked to come out and attack us. So they kind of have a mess up there. Able to get the stop. Yeah, when it comes to uh, you know linebacker, had some uh, young guys rotating in there. We have Isaac Young in there uh, right now. We're gonna see uh, Colton Feld in there um, during the season two. <clears throat> All right, so we got Grant Vanderbess with the ball. I mean, his speed is just crazy. Cutting all over the place, running all over. When I was in high school, my senior year, my I mean, he was my same age, so uh, JV, junior year, uh, senior year. Um, our running back ended up all state his senior year, rushed for over 2,000 yards. And uh, a lot of similar similarities to Grant, where Grant's definitely stronger than what uh, my running back was. But just like insane speed, insane cuts, um, you know, quickness, kind of that total package. And it's fun to play for a running back like that where it's just like you're going to the whistle. And, and we know like something crazy is going to happen. You can do something uh, spectacular. So we're just blocking, blocking, blocking as long as we can. All right, back to that trips. Just going up the middle. Nice easy yards. They're still stacking those outsides. <clears throat> you know, kind of have a uh, not that great uh, backfield mesh. Got a lineman pushing to the backfield. Going back to the well with trips here, where they're they have uh, four guys over our three, <clears throat> so we can get a body on a body. And again, that's part of the power of our trips formation. It's, you know, are you going to go one on one against our trips? And then, if so, like we're going to torch you with uh, passing plays. And if you're going to go four over three, then we got one on ones, all the blocking, um, you know, with our offensive line, you can get everything blocked up. So it's kind of a picture poison. That's what I really like about uh, having four offensive linemen out there because one is eligible still, so you have to have a guy that's against them. Okay. Great play by CA here. You know, I was uh, talking to him on the sideline about having to do his job uh, when they're doing that triple option play. He does his job and gets safety. Boom. Phenomenal. So he was jacked, you know, kind of like knowing that, like, I made this mistake. Coach is pissed at me. 
and then he comes back and then he makes the the uh, does his job, makes the right decision. <clears throat> See, I'm gonna have great field position. back at it and we got uh, big Austin Hagley big man going out there running our trap pass we got two guys open and that trap passes pass is uh, something we added in where <coughs> you know we can pull a guard but we're still in pass pro so for you know all these teams play us and cover zero almost always so if we can like trick one guy in play action and pulling that guard, that gives a lot of eye candy for linebackers, so that sucks them up. And then we should have uh, one or two guys wide open. We're going to have one or two guys wide open on that play uh, many, many times in this season, 2022, 2023. It's money also. We got some wind on it. Perry Field, apparently. <clears throat> yeah, we got uh, you know, big man, Austin Hagley. Played really well for us. It's his senior year. Got out there on defense a little bit, but uh, he's mainly an offensive player for us. Now, he kind of wasn't the guy who was going to just, like, latch onto somebody and, like, bury him. But he was a guy that, like, pretty consistently he was going to be able to get that block. He's, uh, especially this year, learned really well uh, with, like, blocking angles and where do I have to go. He knew that he's not the fastest guy, he's not the strongest guy, but he's a big body. Uh, a lot of times you just got to get hands on people, uh, you know, get your body uh, like position blocked where you're going to put yourself between the defender and the uh, where the ball is so he's doing a lot of good stuff for us okay so uh, yeah that was uh, Carson Lishka making a play where he was uh, inverted at safety there <clears throat> a little bit yeah because we got uh, Austin Miller out there right now Carson sheds that block uh, extends the play out, gets the tackle. Nice job by him. And getting the ball to Jedi. Again, he's just driving those legs. Back to the side formation, hand off to him. <laughs> if I were NEW, like. What's the harm in putting him at the at the top of the eye, you know? Like, get him some blockers. Don't just do halfback or uh, fullback dives with him. But I'm glad they didn't do that, because that would have gave us some big problems. With, uh, was this number 26? He's a uh, challenging player where he has some speed. He's the main target of the quarterback. He's tall. I think he's like 6'4, if I remember correctly. So, just like, we gotta make sure that we don't get uh, an over levered there. But nice pass breakup. We got uh, Parker Lishka. Freshman, younger brother of Carson. <clears throat> All right, nice tackle. All right, so just up the middle. There he is again, Cade Preston, getting out on that tackle. It's a tough job, like. You're dealing with the center, you know, for all of our D linemen, I put them in uh, probably the worst positions, and it's just like, you know, that's our job. It, uh, we kind of make everything else go in the defense. If our D line isn't playing well, our defense is probably having a bad game too. So yeah, he's, you know, 
getting on that guy, possibly facing double teams, shedding guys, getting in on that, uh, stopping guys' momentums. <clears throat> and getting that pitch. And we got uh, Lishka Phil in there. And that's, again, the design of the defense. You saw Tyler Chalice. He's taking on that block. We're not expecting him to take on that block, shed uh, Jedi, and then make the tackle. Let's make him block you. We want to meet, meet him as deep in the backfield as possible and condense that whole situation. And then you have our corner coming up and filling. You have our linebacker scraping over. Some, like, uh, almost textbook stuff. <clears throat> Again, with uh, coaches' commentaries of the past, talked about it a lot. We're pretty much the <clears throat> the only team that I know of in the state of Wisconsin that uh, plays zone the vast majority of the time. Some teams they might play like a, uh, like a cover one type of situation, but still, like that's man to man. You just got a guy over the top in the middle, but. It's probably about 90% of snaps we are playing zone. Guys are comfortable with it. Other teams really struggle against it because nobody else does it. And with having four DBs out there, that is really nice because we can play any coverage that we want. I think is these first three eight our first three eight man seasons, we let our conference in takeaways. A lot of that is because we would get tons of interceptions. If you get like an overthrown ball or something like that, we got a guy in his own behind it. That's where a lot of our picks come from. Or our quarterbacks get confused. Grant, turn on the Jets. <clears throat> Had a little uh, miscommunication there where it looked like we were running trap. Grant was supposed to catch the ball to hand it off to uh, Varden, but makes up for it there. Nice block. Like this year, you know, Grant is probably 120 pounds. I'm just kidding. He's probably like 140. I don't know if Grant watches these, but he's probably like shaking his head. I think I was 140 in like fifth grade, so saying right, we got a trap going on here grant cut it back making guys look ridiculous making guys run into each other <clears throat> get this here must have looks like we were uh, having some celebrations there couple guys run past the uh, ball carrier there. It looks like we got, uh, we got Colton Felden at linebacker here. Got to the play but just didn't get the tackle. All right, here's that play action pass again. <clears throat> Got a little bit behind us. I must have got. Is that maybe the Lish gun? They must have waved it off. I mean, I said it, especially like in this 2023 season, I said it all the time, like. If I'm NEW, I'm giving Jedi the ball 25 times a game. If you want to have, like, you know, 22 uh, rushes, 
maybe like a screen here and there or something like that, but give that dude the ball. And not just on like fullback dives either. Like get him some get him some blockers. We can do like a direct snap or something like that and have everybody block for him. Bubble screen, nice job. That's exactly how we have it designed. They are a flat player there, the safety, which is Varden. He can be really aggressive on that. You run these slants, that's okay. <clears throat> Alright, we got a pitch. Uh, we got a guard up to our linebacker. That's not ideal. And they're uh, moving the ball, but again, by this time, <clears throat> we're up by a lot. Our defense, like especially how we play it, where we're we're playing with a pretty light box, like a lot of time. I mean, against like these I formations, we're gonna have. Um, you know, it's going to be like a 5-1 look, really. <clears throat> but a lot of times we have like four guys in the box, and it's kind of ridiculous to expect to get away with that. But again, if we're with a lead and you have to pass, you're going to be in trouble. And if you want to run the ball and keep the clock moving, that's fine. Yeah, now this play, it's some really bad tackling. Glad most of it was out of frame so I don't have to relive it again. Got the stop there. <clears throat> I think pretty soon I'm gonna get some more guys uh, mixed in there. Gonna see where things are at. Yeah, so we're kinda getting to the back end of the game now. <clears throat> Carson Leist out there. I think Feld handled that uh, that kick, got on it. Yep, great job. So it looks like we got the Lishka boys out there at uh, wide receiver. Yeah, they're playing like the three over two when it comes to that. That opens things up. Grant making some jukes, but always around the ball. We got uh, Jedi there. High motor, getting after it. Uh, we got another lead here. Grant's cutting it back. Doesn't want to get killed, so getting to the ground. Smart decision. Preserving himself. He's only 110 pounds, so gotta do that. Trying to get to the outside. Staying in bounds, very smart. Keep that clock rolling. <clears throat> See if we get to the wide side of the field here, too. Yep. <laughs> that TN not keeping contain. So the design of that, where you saw where uh, Grant went, was. Um, and that three hole, but Barden's like, I think I can beat that giant lineman to the outside, so he did. And pass play here, throwing it up. Nice, caught it, got the feet in. Two point conversion. Got young guys running around, trying to figure out where to go. Oh, nice. Young guy making a play. All right, throwing it deep. Chalice. <sighs> so, beat us deep there, but ball underthrown, and uh, talk to Chalice a lot about that play. 
Uh, Joey Cabino making a play there. He is a freshman. He's a stud on JV. Um, and then he's a starter for us on varsity on defense in this 2023 season. Got an honorable mention, which is really awesome for him. Yeah, we got our young guys in here now. For the most part. Oh, is that Chalice? Making plays? Yeah, causing a fumble. Awesome. And we got uh, JV offense here, led by Lane Koshart. False start. Young guys, man. Should have called a false start on us again. We got our uh, uh, our three back lean and forward. Who's that? Is that Mark? Leaning again. Mark. <laughs> Got Brady Rogers there at center. He's a uh, viewer and memorizer of these uh, coaches' commentaries. Let's see, we got Gavin Blowski out there. We got Carson Leist. What else do we got? Uh, we got uh, Logan Wilson out there. Parker Lishka. I think we got Feld getting some reps. Yeah, he's moving bodies, pushing guys around. Good stuff. But always cool, you know, with small school football. We don't get tons of JV games. We got a trap here, getting outside. Beautiful. Yeah, with the young guys, don't uh, have tons of games, so it's always good to get them in games. Get them some experience. They want to get after it. Everybody's all jacked for them. Like you'll see on the sideline, guys are happy for them. <clears throat> we got Will Bennett out there. And uh, we got Josh Bennett too, number 75. We got the Bennett boys at guards. Aiden Moen carrying the ball. City touchdown, very nice. You know, Lane being patient, picking his way through there. Getting the two point conversion. Beautiful. Good execution. <clears throat> and we got more young guys out there. We got uh, is that O'Hearn at the bottom of the screen here. That looks like him. Very nice. I think we get this too. Yeah, we got it. And then we're going to take knees, I think. Yeah. So, very nice. Good game. Good to, good way to start out the season. There you go. Just running clock. Good snaps. Taking knees. Getting out of there. 48 to 12. Nice job on offense. Nice job on defense. Special teams. Okay. Very, very nice. So that is uh, game one for the 2022 uh, 20, season. And, uh, yeah, we'll be back with more. So hope you enjoyed this one.